Have you ever searched for a product in QuickBid only to find it missing? Unfortunately, there's a virtually endless number of building products on the market, and it's impossible to catalog them all in a database that works for everyone. That said, did you know QuickBid is partnered with many popular manufacturers and that we offer databases of their products for free to customers with a current maintenance agreement? This allows you the flexibility to add only the manufacturers you want and not fill your database with products you'll never use. To get started, head over to our Material Database Partners page at www.oncenter.com partners. If you're inside QuickBid, you can also get there by clicking the Download button on the Condition Assembly List Master window. The Material Database Partners page contains databases for manufacturers like Armstrong, Clark Dietrich, Hilti, USG, and many more. Once you find the manufacturer you're looking for, click the orange Download button to access the Knowledge Base article for the database. Here you'll find details about what the database contains, how to install it, and how to use it. You should definitely read this page if you need more information beyond this video. To download and install the entire manufacturer database, click the Download Database button from the download section in the article. In most cases, once downloaded, the file can be found in your Windows Downloads folder. Double-click the file to open it up. I'm using the default Windows File Manager, so this process might be slightly different for you if you're using a different zip file handler. At the top of the window, click the Compressed Folder Tools tab, then the Extract All button. A new window displays where you can choose where you want the file to extract. Click the Browse button. For the database to work, the file must go to the C OCS documents slash quickbid folder. Browse to that file location and then click the select folder button. Once you've selected the correct folder, click the extract button. You can repeat this process for each manufacturer database you download. You could simply open quickbid and start using this manufacturer database, but it wouldn't follow the same naming convention your company requires or contain any of the other items, payroll, or cost code information you're used to seeing. So before using the database, Let's get it prepped. In order to avoid any potential harm to your old database, we'll start by creating a brand new empty database. Then we'll copy the information from the manufacturers and your old database into it. This ensures you have total control over what the database is named and gives you a fresh start. To create a new database, click the New button at the top of the screen. We're going to create an access database. Contact your IT department if you're working with SQL. Click the OK button. In the Database Path field, enter your desired name for your new database. In Auto Backup, select After Each Use and change the number of backups to 5. Click OK to save and create the new empty database. Next, click the Open Folder button at the top of the screen. Find the manufacturer database you unzipped earlier, select it, and press OK. You should now see your old database with all of your bids, the new database you just created, and the manufacturer database in the bid navigator. If you don't see the bid navigator on the left, click the view menu at the top and select bid navigator. To begin the copying or synchronization process, click and drag the manufacturer database's name on top of your new empty database's name and let it go. You'll know you got it right when the no symbol turns into a white arrow with a little box under it. The Synchronized Databases window appears. This window confirms the source database as the manufacturer's and the destination database as the empty database. That's what you want to see. The source database contains all the information you want and the destination is where you are copying it to. If the source and destinations are switched, click Cancel and try again. You may have made a mistake. Click the Start button and give the process a few moments to complete. There may be a lot of stuff to copy over depending on the database. Once the sync is complete, a confirmation window appears. Click OK to complete the process. If you downloaded multiple manufacturer databases, just keep repeating this process until you've synchronized all of them into your new database. Now that you have all the manufacturer information in the new database, we need to synchronize your old database. We do this last because the source information overwrites everything currently in the database. This ensures all the payroll and labor information material pricing, and cost code info from your old database overwrites everything found in the manufacturer database. This time, click and drag your old database name on top of the new database name. 
Again, the synchronized databases window appears. This time you should see the source database as your old database and the destination database as the new one. If the source and destinations are switched, cancel and try again. Click the start button and give the process a few moments to complete. Once the sync is complete, click OK on the confirmation window to complete the process. Our very final step is to run a compact and repair on the new database. We've copied a lot of things into it, so this helps ensure the new database is ready for bidding. Click the Open Folder button at the top of the screen just like earlier. This time, select your new database and click the Compact slash Repair button at the bottom. When finished, you see a confirmation message. Click the OK button to close the message. While you're here, you can deselect the manufacturer database you selected earlier. You don't need to see that one anymore. If there's any other databases open you don't want to see anymore, you can close them too. Click OK one more time to close the Open Databases window. You now have a new database filled with manufacturer information ready to use. You can continue to work your existing bids in your old database, but to take full advantage of the new manufacturer product information, create all new bids in the new database.